Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Playing With Power MTG, where we play with the most powerful cards in the most powerful formats. Tonight's game is brought to you by TCGPlayer.com, where you can find all of your cards online while still supporting local game stores, Dragon Shield for all of the best accessories to protect your decks, and through Patreon, where you get awesome benefits for your direct support. We are back with another round for our Boxing League. Our last video had each player building a deck from a respective box they opened, and now it's time for round two. Each player opened six packs from a different set and added them to their card pool. Some swaps were made, and some players pivoted into completely new commanders. If you want to find out more info about the Boxing League, check out the link in the description. If you want to try out a Boxing League for yourself, pick up some product from TCGPlayer.com. They have great prices on sealed products so you can start a Boxing League of your own. Check out the link in the description below. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Folger, piloting Golos, Tireless Pilgrim. Folger opened War of the Spark as his packs for this week and made some swaps to help fortify his deck's strength and interaction. Folger's opening hand contains a Jungle Hollow, Forest, Island, Swamp, a Boreal Grazer, Risen Reef, and Yarok the Desecrated. Next, we have Mike, piloting Brokos, Apex of Forever. Mike opened M20 as his packs for this week, hoping to get some more of the raw power that Folger had in the last game. Mike's opening hand contains a Bonder's Enclave, Dismal Backwater, Forest, Risen Reef, Season of Growth, Zagoth Mamba, and his London Mulligan is a keep safe. After that, we have Ryan, piloting Tatiova, Benthic Druid. Ryan opened M21 as his packs for this game and decided that five color Jota was just a bit too clunky for his taste. So instead, he switched commanders entirely and went with a synergy of Tatiova. Ryan's opening hand contains a Mox Amber, Island, Garuk's Uprising, Ancient Animus, Two Forests, and his London Mulligan is a Grun, the Lonely King. Finally, we have Zack, piloting Zareth Son, the Trickster. Zack also opened M20 as his packs for this game, and also decided that 5 color was too clunky. He decided to go into Demir and chose Zareth Son as his commander. Zack's opening hand contains a Nimble Trap Binder, Negate, Grave Digger, Blood Price, Island, and Two Swamps. Without further ado, let's kick off this bombastic, bodacious battle of berating brothers. Mike wins the Grow Me Father Challenge and gets to start us off. Mike draws a card for turn and then plays a Dismal Backwater, gaining one life. Mike passes. Folger draws a card for turn and then plays a Forest. He casts Orboreal Grazer. It enters and Folger puts a Temple of Malady onto the battlefield, scrying one as it enters. Folger passes. Ryan draws a card for turn and then plays a Forest. He casts Mox Amber. Ryan passes. Zack draws a card for turn and then plays an Island. Zack passes. Mike draws and then plays a Forest for turn. He casts Season of Growth. Mike ends his turn. Folger draws and then plays an island for turn. He casts Risen Reef. He looks at the top card and reveals it, which is a Temple of Triumph, putting it onto the battlefield. He scries one and gives the turn to Ryan. Ryan draws and then plays an island for turn. He passes. Zack draws and then plays a Swamp for turn. He casts Nimble Trap Finder. Zack shifts the turn to Mike. Mike draws and then plays a Swamp for turn. He also casts Risen Reef. It enters and Season of Growth triggers. Mike scries to the bottom off of Season of Growth. He then resolves Risen Reef, looking at the top card and revealing an island, putting it onto the battlefield. With nothing else, Mike passes. Folger draws and then plays an island for turn. He casts Yarok, the Desecrated. Yarok enters, and since it's an elemental, Risen Reef triggers. Since Yarok is on the battlefield, Risen Reef triggers twice. Folger reveals the top card, which is a Thornwood Falls, putting it onto the battlefield, gaining two life because of Yarok. He then looks at the top card, doesn't reveal it, and puts it into his hand. Finish it up, and with a very nice board presence already, Folger passes the turn. Ryan draws, and then plays a forest for turn. He casts Garuk's Uprising. Ryan passes. Zack draws, and then plays a swamp for turn. He casts Spare Supplies, drawing a card as it enters. Zack ends his turn. Mike draws, and then starts off his turn by casting Zagoth Mamba. Season of Growth triggers, and Mike scries one. He casts a Facet Reader. Season of Growth triggers again, and Mike scries again. He attacks Ryan with his Risen Reef. Ryan takes it, and Mike passes the turn. Folger draws, and then plays a Mountain for turn. He casts his commander, Golos, Tireless Pilgrim. Golos enters, and it triggers twice because of Yara. He fetches up a Scoured Barons onto the battlefield, gaining two life because of Yara. He then fetches up a Temple of Silence onto the battlefield, scrying twice as it enters, with both scries to the bottom. He attacks Risen Reef at Ryan, and Yara at Mike. Both take the damage, Folger gains three, and then Folger passes the turn. Ryan draws, and then plays a Forest for turn. He plays an Elf Aim Druid. With a pretty underwhelming turn after the display by Folger, Ryan passes to Zack. Zack draws, and then plays a Swamp for turn. He passes. 
Mike draws, and then starts off his turn by activating Facet Reader, drawing and discarding. He plays a Bonder's Enclave. He casts his commander, Brokos, Apex of Forever, for its mutate cost, mutating it onto Zagoth Mamba. Season of Growth triggers, and Mike draws a card. Zagoth Mamba triggers, and Mike gives Folger's Risen Reef minus two minus two until end of turn, killing it. He attacks Brokos at Folger. Folger takes it, and Mike ends his turn. At the end of Mike's turn, Folger casts Anticipate. He looks at the top three cards of his library, puts one into his hand, and the rest on bottom. Folger draws, and then starts off his turn by activating Golos. He exiles a Teferi Time Rabbler, drawn from dreams, and a Cryptic Caves. He casts Teferi Time Rabbler. In response, Zack casts Negate, countering the spell. Folger then casts Drawn from Dreams. He looks at the top seven, puts two into his hand, and the rest on bottom. He plays Cryptic Caves as his land for turn. He casts Wing Words, drawing two cards. He attacks Mike with Golos and Yaroth. Mike takes it, and Folger gains three. Folger passes the turn, discarding to hand size. Ryan draws and starts off his turn by casting his commander, Tatiova, Benthic Druid, and then plays a forest for turn. Tatiova triggers, and Ryan gains one life and draws a card. Ryan passes the turn. At the end of Ryan's turn, Zack sacrifices his spare parts, drawing a card. Zack draws and then plays a swamp for turn. He passes. Mike draws and then activates Facet Reader, drawing and discarding. He plays a swamp for turn. He attacks Folger with Brokos. Folger takes it, and Mike passes the turn. Folger draws and then plays a swamp for turn. He activates Golos, exiling a Tyrant Scorn, Plains, and a Swamp. He casts Tyrant Scorn, bouncing Brokos back to Mike's hand. He casts God Eternal Kefnet. In response, Mike flashes in Voracious Great Shark. The Shark enters and counters Kefnet. Season of Growth triggers, and Mike scries one. With nothing else, Folger passes the turn. Ryan draws and then plays an island for turn. Tatiova triggers, Ryan gains one life, and then draws a card. He casts Spined Megalodon. Garuk's Uprising triggers, and Ryan draws a card. Ryan ships a turn to Zack. At the end of Ryan's turn, Zack flashes in his commander, Zarathon the Trickster. Zack draws, and then starts off by casting Delivery. He scries two and draws a card. He attacks Mike with Zareth. Mike blocks with his Great Shark. Zareth dies, and Zack puts it into his graveyard. In his second main phase, Zack casts Nighthawk Scavenger. All through, Zack passes. Mike draws, and then starts off by casting Garuda, Doom of Depths. Garuda enters, and everyone mills four. Then Mike puts Territorial Allosaurus onto the battlefield under his control. Mike then resolves both Seasons of Growth triggers, scrying one each time. Mike casts Zagoth Mamba. Season of Growth triggers, and Mike scries one again. With nothing else, Mike passes the turn. Folger draws, and then activates Golos, Tireless Pilgrim. He reveals a Swamp, Mountain, and a Pacifism. He plays his Swamp as his land for turn. He casts Kaikar, Wind's Fury. He casts Pacifism on Mike's Zagoth Mamba. Kaikar triggers, and Folger creates a 1-1 Spirit. He casts Elvish Reclaimer, and then gives a turn to Ryan. Ryan draws, and then plays an Island for turn. Tatiova triggers, Ryan gains one, and draws a card. He casts Portcullis Vine. He then casts Helm of the Host. Ryan passes. Zack draws, and then casts Mind Carver. It enters, and attaches the Nighthawk Scavenger. He attacks Mike with his Nighthawk Scavenger. Mike takes nine, and Zack gains nine. In his second main phase, he casts Blood Price. He looks at the top four, puts two into his hand, the rest on bottom, and then loses two life. Zack plays an island for turn, and then gives the turn to Mike. Mike draws, and then casts Karuga, the Macro Sage. Season of Growth triggers, and Mike scries one. Then Karuga triggers, and Mike draws three cards. Knowing he is a target of attacks, Mike passes the turn. Folger draws, and moves directly to combat. He attacks Mike with Kaikar and a Spirit, and attacks Zack with his Golos and Yara. Both take it, and Folger gains three. In his second main phase, he sacrifices a spirit through Kaikar to help cast Flood of Tears. Kaikar triggers, and Folger creates a spirit. He then sacrifices his spirit to float mana. Then all non-land permanents are bounced, and since he bounced enough of his own permanents, he then puts Yarok back onto the battlefield. He then recasts Golos. Golos enters and triggers twice through Yarok. He fetches up a Dismal Backwater, gaining two through Yarok, and then fetches up a Temple of Epiphany, scrying one two times through Yarok as well. He plays a Jungle Hollow as his land for turn, gaining two life through Yarok. He recasts a Boreal Grazer. It triggers twice, but Folger only puts a Forest onto the battlefield. He recasts Elvish Reclaimer, and then gives a turn to Ryan. Ryan draws, and then recasts Mox Amber. He recasts Tatiova. He casts Elfame Druid. He plays an Island for turn. Tatiova triggers, Ryan gains one, and draws a card. He casts Portcullis Vine again, and, now rebuilt, passes the turn to Zack. Zack draws, and then casts Relic Golem. He casts Nimble Trap Finder. Zack passes. 
At the end of Zack's turn, Mike flashes in Mystic Subduel, targeting Golos. Folger sighs, and Subduel resolves. Then Zack discards the hand size. Mike draws, and then starts off his turn by casting Farfinder. It enters, and Mike fetches up a forest into his hand. He plays a forest for turn. He recasts Risen Reef. It enters, and Mike reveals an island off of the top of its library and puts it onto the battlefield. He casts Polywog Symbiote. He passes the turn, discarding to hand size. Folger draws, and then casts Cloudkin Seer. It triggers twice through Yarok, and Folger draws two cards. He plays an island for turn. He casts Villus, Broker of Blood. Everyone's jaw drops, and Folger follows up by casting Pacifism, targeting Relic Golem. He attacks Zack with Yarok. Zack takes it, and Folger gains three. Folger passes the turn. Ryan draws, and then starts off by casting Garruk's Uprising. Villus may be the most threatening thing on the battlefield, but Ryan decides to do him one better by casting Colossal Dreadmaw. Uprising triggers, and Ryan draws a card. He plays a forest for turn. Tatiova triggers, Ryan gains one, and then draws a card. Ryan passes the turn. Zack draws, and then casts Gravedigger. It triggers, and Zack returns Zareth back to his hand. Zack passes. At the end of Zack's turn, Folger activates Villas twice, targeting Risen Reef and Farfinder. Folger loses four life, draws four cards through Villas, and then both creatures die. Mike draws, and then starts off his turn by casting Extinction Event. With this ability on the stack, everyone begins to argue about which mode Mike should pick. Everyone agrees that Villas is definitely the biggest problem, but choosing Odd would clear more of the board. After a lot of debate, Mike decides his selection and then passes priority. Folger responds by activating Villas, targeting Nimble Trap Finder, losing two life and drawing two cards. Trap Finder dies and Folger activates Villas again. He targets Polywog Symbiote, losing two life and drawing two more cards. And then Zack responds by activating Relic Golem, targeting Folger. Folger mills two. Then Extinction Event resolves. Mike chooses Even and exiles all Even CMC creatures, including Villas. Next, Mike casts Zagoth Mamba. Mike then casts Migratory Greathorn for its mutate cost onto Zagoth Mamba. Mamba's mutate triggers, and Mike gives Cloudkin Seer minus two, minus two, killing it. Greathorn's mutate triggers, and Mike fetches up a forest onto the battlefield tapped. With nothing else, Mike passes. Folger draws, and then starts off by sacrificing Cryptic Caves, drawing a card. He casts Kaikar, Wind's Fury. He casts Leyline of Anticipation. Kaikar triggers, and Folger creates a 1 1 spirit. He plays a mountain for turn. Folger then casts Scampering Scorcher. Scorcher enters and triggers twice through Yarok, putting four elementals onto the battlefield. Folger attacks Mike with Yarok and attacks Zack with Elvish Reclaimer, Scampering Scorcher, and four elementals. Both take it, and Folger gains three. All through, Folger passes. At the end of Folger's turn, Ryan sacrifices Portcullis Vine to draw a card. Folger then discards the hand size. Ryan draws and then starts off his turn by casting Helm of the Host. He equips his Helm of the Host onto Tatiova. He moves to combat, triggering Helm of the Host and creating a non-legendary copy of Tatiova. In his second main phase, he plays an island for turn. Both Tatiova's trigger and Ryan gains two life and draws two cards. Ryan passes the turn, discarding to hand size. Zack draws and then plays an island for turn. He casts Myriad Construct, kicked. Construct then enters with 11 plus one plus one counters on it. With a huge creature in play, Zack passes the turn. Mike draws and then starts off his turn by casting Season of Growth. He mutates Brokos onto his Migratory Greathorn. Season of Growth triggers, and Mike draws a card. The mutate triggers resolve, and Mike gives Folger's Spirit minus two minus two, and then fetches up an island onto the battlefield tapped. Mike passes the turn. At the end of Mike's turn, Folger flashes in a Thicket Crasher through Leyline of Anticipation. Folger draws, and then immediately moves to combat, attacking Mike with Yarok, Kaikar, Reclaimer, Crasher, Golos, Scorcher, and four Elementals. In response, Mike flashes in C Dasher Octopus, mutating onto Brokos. Season of Growth triggers, and Mike draws a card. Mutate triggers, and Mike gives Scorcher minus two, minus two, killing it. The other mutate triggers, and Mike fetches up an island onto the battlefield. Mike then blocks Crasher with Brokos. Before damage, Folger flashes in Overgrowth Elemental through Leyline. Overgrowth triggers twice due to Yarok, and Folger puts two plus one, plus one counters onto Thicket Crasher. Then they move to damage, Brokos and Crasher die, and Mike takes 14, and Folger gains 3. Then Overgrowth Elemental triggers, Folger gains 1 life, and the Elemental gets a 1-1 counter. In his second main phase, Folger plays a Tranquil Grove, gaining 2 life through Yarok, and then passes the turn to Ryan. Ryan draws, and then moves to combat. Helm of the Host triggers, creating another non-legendary Tatiova. In his second main phase, Ryan plays an Island. All three Tatiovas trigger, Ryan gains 3 life, and draws 3 cards. 
Ryan casts Karn's Temporal Sundering. He targets Folger's Leyline of Anticipation, and Folger responds by flashing in Angel of Vitality. Leyline bounces, Ryan gets an extra turn, and Karn's Temporal Sundering exiles. Ryan casts Black Blade Reforged, which is a big problem for everyone else at the table. He follows up with a Tome Anima and passes the turn to himself. Ryan draws and then plays an island for turn. Three Tatiovas trigger, and Ryan draws three cards and gains three life. He equips Black Blade Reforged onto Tome Anima. Ryan moves the combat. Helm of the Host triggers, and Ryan creates a non-legendary Tatiova. He attacks Folger with his Tome Anima. Since Ryan drew more than two cards this turn, it can't be blocked. Folger takes 15, and in his second main phase, Ryan casts Gilded Lotus. Ryan pays four and taps Black Blade Reforged to cast Zaheed, Jinn of the Lamp. Garuk's Uprising triggers, and Ryan draws a card. Ryan passes the turn, discarding to hand size. Zack draws, and then casts Nighthawk Scavenger. He casts Audacious Thief. He follows up with a Mind Carver, attaching it to the Audacious Thief as it enters. Zack passes the turn. Mike draws, and then starts off by casting Vivian, Monster's Advocate. He activates Vivian's second ability. He casts Garuda, Doom of the Depths. Vivian triggers, and Mike fetches up a Dreamtail Heron and puts it onto the battlefield. Season of Growth triggers for Heron and Garuda, and Mike scries one each time. Then Garuda triggers, everyone mills four, and then Mike puts Untamed Kabu from Ryan's Graveyard onto the battlefield under his control. Season of Growth triggers, and Mike scries one. Finished up, Mike passes. Folger draws, and then moves the combat. He attacks Mike with Kaikar and Angel of Vitality, and attacks Ryan with four 1-1 one -one Elementals. Mike blocks Kaikar, and then they both take the damage, and Mike dies. In his second main phase, Folger activates Golos. He exiles a Veil of Summer, Swamp, and an Aether Gust. Folger casts Aether Gust, targeting Ryan's original Tatiova, putting it on top of Ryan's library. Folger activates Golos again, exiling Agent of Treachery, Safara, Sky's Blade, and a Plains. Folger casts Safara. Folger then casts Agent of Treachery. Agent enters and triggers twice. Folger decides to steal two of Ryan's Tatiova tokens. He plays a Swamp for turn. Both Tatiovas trigger, and each triggers twice due to Yarok. Folger then draws four cards, and because of Angel of Vitality, gains eight life instead of four. Folger casts Bond of Flourishing. He looks at the top three, and reveals a Mu Yangling Sky Dancer, and puts it into his hand. He then gains four life due to Angel of Vitality. Folger passes the turn, discarding the hand size. Ryan draws, and then casts his commander from his hand, Tatiova, Benthic Druid. He plays an island for turn, triggering both Tatiovas, gaining two life and drawing two cards. Ryan then equips Helm of the Host onto Zaheed, Jinn of the Lamb. He moves to combat. Helm of the Host triggers, and Ryan creates a copy of Zaheed. Garuk's Uprising triggers, and Ryan draws a card. He attacks Folger with two Manima and Zaheed. Folger blocks Zaheed with Safara and then takes nine. In a second main phase, Ryan casts Territorial Allosaurus, kicked. Garuk's Uprising triggers, and Ryan draws. Allosaurus triggers, and Ryan has it fight Safara. Both creatures die, and Ryan passes the turn, discarding the hand size. Zack draws, and then moves the combat, attacking Folger with Audacious Thief and Nighthawk Scavenger. Thief triggers, and Zack loses one life and draws a card. Folger blocks Nighthawk Scavenger with his Arboreal Druid. Before damage, Zack activates Zareth's Son, returning Audacious Thief to his hand, and puts Zareth onto the battlefield tapped and attacking. Grazer dies, Folger loses four, Zack gains seven, and then Zareth triggers. Zack then puts Chandra, Awakened Inferno, from Folger's graveyard into play under his control. In his second main phase, Zack equips Mind Carver onto Nighthawk Scavenger. He activates Chandra's second ability for three, dealing three damage to all non-elemental creatures, killing multiple creatures on the board. Zack plays an island for turn, and passes. Folger draws, and then starts off his turn by casting Mu Yan Ling, Sky Dancer. He activates Yan Ling's first ability, targeting Nighthawk Scavenger, having it lose flying, and giving it minus two minus zero until Folger's next turn. He activates Golos, exiling Rapacious Dragon, Thrashing Brontodon, and Octoprophet. He casts Rapacious Dragon. Dragon triggers twice due to Yarok, and Folger creates four treasures. He casts Octoprophet, scrying twice due to Yarok. He taps mana and sacrifices his treasures to activate Golos another time, exiling Teferi's Time Twist, Murder, and a Forest. Folger casts Murder, killing Ryan's Tome Anima. He plays a Forest for turn. He casts Thrashing Brontodon. He casts Teferi's Time Twist, targeting his Rapacious Dragon. He recasts Leyline of Anticipation. He attacks Ryan with four Elementals and attacks Chandra with Angel of Vitality. Chandra dies and Ryan loses four life. Folger moves to his end step, Rapacious Dragon re-enters, gets a plus one plus one counter, and then Folger creates four more treasures due to Yarok. Folger passes. Ryan draws and then activates Black Blade Reforge, equipping it onto Zaheed. 
He declares that he would like to move to combat, and Folger responds by sacrificing Thrashing Brontodon, destroying Blackblade Reforge. Ryan then moves to combat, Helm of the Host triggers, and Ryan creates a copy of Zaheed. Gorok's Uprising triggers, and Ryan draws a card. Ryan attacks both Folger and Zack, each with a Zaheed. Both take the hit, and in a second main phase, Ryan casts Spine Megalodon. He plays a Forest for turn, and then casts Lana War Scout, and passes the turn. Zack draws, and then casts Sure-Footed Infiltrator. He casts Metropolis Sprite. Zack passes the turn. At the end of Zack's turn, Folger flashes in a renowned Weaponsmith. In response, Ryan casts Return to Nature, targeting Golos. Golos is destroyed, and then Weaponsmith resolves. Then the turn moves to Folger. During his upkeep, Folger casts Golos through Leyline of Anticipation. Golos triggers twice due to Yarok, and Folger fetches up an island and a forest onto the battlefield. He draws, and then casts a Captivating Gyre, targeting Myriad Construct, Nighthawk Scavenger, and Sure-Footed Infiltrator. Myriad Construct triggers, and Zack sacrifices it, making 13 1-1 tokens. Then the other two creatures bounce back to their owner's hands. Folger attacks Ryan with Rapacious Dragon and Angel of Vitality, and attacks Zack with Octoprophet, Elvish Reclaimer, and Four Elementals. Zack blocks with his tokens. Before damage, Folger casts Flame Sweep. It resolves, and the Elemental tokens, Construct tokens, and some other smaller creatures die. Overgrowth Elemental triggers four times, and Folger puts four plus one plus one counters on it and gains eight life due to Angel of Vitality. Ryan then takes eight. In his second main phase, Folger plays an island for turn and passes to Ryan. Ryan draws and then starts off by casting Roaming Ghost Light. It enters and bounces Overgrowth Elemental back to Folger's hand. Ryan declares he would like to move to combat, and Folger responds by casting D Spark, targeting Ryan Zaheed. In response, Ryan casts Heroic Intervention. It resolves and D Spark fizzles. Ryan moves to combat. Helm of the Host triggers, and Ryan creates a copy of Zaheed. Garok's Uprising triggers, and Ryan draws a card. Ryan attacks Folger with Spine Megalodon and all three gens. Spine Megalodon triggers, and Ryan scries one. After attackers, Folger flashes in Forced Claw. He blocks the Megalodon with Forced Claw. Megalodon dies, and Folger takes 15. In a second main phase, Ryan casts Wall of Runes, scrying one as it enters. He casts Weight of Memory, drawing three, and milling Folger for three. All finished up, Ryan passes. At the end of Ryan's turn, Zack activates Relic Golem, targeting Folger, having him mill two cards. Zack draws, and then starts off his turn by recasting Nighthawk Scavenger. He recasts Audacious Thief. Zack passes. At the end of Zack's turn, Folger flashes in Overgrowth Elemental. Overgrowth Elemental triggers twice through Yarok, giving Yarok two plus one plus one counters. Folger draws, and then activates Golos. He exiles Scuttlemutt, Meteor Golem, and Liliana's Triumph. He casts Liliana's Triumph. Ryan sacrifices his Wall of Runes, and Zack sacrifices his Audacious Thief. Folger then casts Meteor Golem. In response, Ryan casts Merfolk Trickster. Trickster enters, and Ryan targets Yarok, having it lose all abilities until end of turn, tapping it. Then Meteor Golem resolves, and Folger destroys Zack's Nighthawk Scavenger. Folger then casts Scuttlemutt. He activates Golos again, exiling Seasons of Growth, Enter the God Eternals, and Drakuset, Maw of Flames. He casts Seasons of Growth. Folger casts Enter the God Eternals. It deals 4 damage to Zerasan, Folger gains 4 life, Ryan mills 4, and then Folger amasses 4. Folger moves to combat and attacks Zack with his creatures. Zack takes 27. In his second main phase, Folger activates Mu Yang Ling's second ability, creating a 4 4 elemental bird. Season of Growth triggers, and Folger scries 1. Folger ends his turn. At the end of Folger's turn, Ryan casts Rescue, bouncing Merfolk Trickster back to his hand. Ryan draws, and then plays an island for turn. He moves the combat, triggering Helm of the Host. He creates a copy of Zaheed. Garuk's Uprising triggers, and Ryan draws. He attacks Folger with three gens, and Zack with one. Folger takes 15, and Zack dies. In a second main phase, Ryan casts Slinvada, the Rising Deep, with Kicker. It enters, and returns all other creatures that aren't of the seafaring variety. Garuk's Uprising triggers, and Ryan draws. Ryan passes to Folger. At the end of Ryan's turn, Folger flashes in Yarok the Desecrated. He flashes in Rapacious Dragon. In response, Ryan casts Syncopate, where X equals 2, countering the spell. Folger then casts Elvish Reclaimer, and then moves to his turn. Folger draws, and then starts off his turn by casting Eternal Isolation, putting Slinvada onto the bottom of Ryan's library. He activates Mu Yang Ling's first ability with no targets. He casts Scuttlemutt. Folger declares he would like to move to combat, and Ryan responds by flashing in Merfolk Trickster, once again targeting Folger's Yarok. Folger attacks Ryan with Octoprophet and Elvish Reclaimer. Ryan blocks with his Merfolk Trickster and takes three. All through, Folger passes. Ryan draws and then plays a Forest for turn. 
He taps his helm of the host to help cast the heat for its alternate cost. Gerbuk's uprising triggers, and Ryan draws. He equips Helm of the Host onto Zahid. Ryan declares he would like to move to combat, and Folger responds by flashing in Meteor Golem. Golem enters, and triggers twice through Yara. Folger destroys both Helm of the Host and Zahid. In his second main phase, Ryan casts Primordial Worm. Gerbuk's uprising triggers, and Ryan draws. He casts Roaming Ghostlight, bouncing Yara back to Folger's hand. Ryan passes the turn. At the end of Ryan's turn, Folger casts Noxious Grasp, destroying Primordial Worm, and Folger gains one life. He then flashes in Dracoseth, Maw of Flames. Seasons of Growth triggers, and Folger scries one. Then the turn moves to Folger. Folger draws, and then starts off by activating Mu Yang Ling's second ability, creating a 4-4 bird. He casts a Johnny, Strength of the Pride. He attacks Ryan with his creatures, including Dracoseth. The dragon triggers and deals 4 damage to Ryan and 3 to his roaming ghostlight. Then Ryan takes 18. In his second main phase, Folger activates Johnny's first ability, gaining 6 life. Folger passes the turn. Ryan draws and then plays a forest for turn. He casts a kicked Bayloth Gorger, entering with 3 plus 1 plus 1 counters. Gurrook's uprising triggers and Ryan draws. He casts Nature's Spiral, returning Zahid, Gen of the Lamp, from his graveyard to his hand. He casts Zahid, drawing a card through Gurrook's uprising. Ryan passes the turn to Folger. At the end of Ryan's turn, Folger flashes in Yara. Season of Growth triggers twice through Yarok, and Folger scries one twice. Folger then flashes in Vorst Claw. He flashes in Silverback Shaman. He then flashes in an Overgrowth Elemental, triggering twice through Yarok, and giving Yarok two plus one plus one counters. Then the turn moves to Folger. Folger draws, and then activates Johnny's first ability, gaining ten life. He casts Chandra, Novice Pyromancer. He activates Chandra's first ability, giving all of his Elementals plus two and plus oh until end of turn. Folger moves to combat, swings with the team, and wins the game. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what a game that was. Congrats to Folger on his hard fought win through so many twists and turns. His goal of activations was giving him so much tremendous value. The most valuable card was really tough to decide this game. At first, we thought it should go to Golos, giving Folger so many cards. We also considered giving it to Leyline of Anticipation, granting Folger the ability to flash in responses when he needed to. At the end of the day, we had to give the most valuable card to Yarok the Desecrated. This elemental came down super early and was giving Folger so much additional value. This is what allowed him to break parity with otherwise very similar powered decks at the table. If you would like to start your own boxing league with your playgroup, check out the TCG player link in the description. They have great prices for sealed products or even just singles if you need them. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. If you liked this video and wanted to help out, please give us a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already subscribed. Also, if you would like to see the raw gameplay of this video, which is a long one, and be part of a great community and have a chance to play with us, consider signing up to our Patreon. There are many tiers and many rewards available and any support greatly helps us reach our goals. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Okay, wanted to give a Patreon shout out to Brandon Harper, Dustin Maye, Josh Kobach, Josh Kopp, Baby Jeebus, Mox Rob, Trey Payne, Baskin, Zods, Noah Saldana, Wayan, Isaac Kaja, Spielrahu, there he is again, um, Road Groad, Road Groad Medflode, Road Groad Medflode, ZZ, and Nick. Thanks a lot, you guys are all the best.